Okay, uh, any first timers? First time you've been to a PGR mission? Welcome! You guys going over from Aurora. Alright! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, today's mission is uh, Greece across America. And uh, it started 15 years ago when this uh, Worcester Reef Company uh, began a tradition of placing wreaths at the uh, headstones of National Fallen Heroes at Arlington National Cemetery in uh, in Washington. And uh, over a period of time, they've started donating uh, 90,000 wreaths, which are placed placed by volunteers in a wreath laying ceremony each December. Uh, the mission is to remember, honor, and teach about the sacrifices made by our veterans as captured by the hearts of many uh, communities across the country. Uh, the Patriot Guard Riders have participated, this is I think our third time, yep. third year that we've participated in this. <laughs> Patriot Guard Riders are an organization of volunteers. As such, there are very few rules that can be reinforced upon the participants of any of our activities. As an officer of the organization, however, I have the expectation that everyone here today will act in a responsible manner and behave in a way that will allow us to continue the proud tradition of our brief history. I ask everyone participating today to take a moment to verify that the reason they are here is to honor and respect the American hero. With that goal in mind, please agree to the following points and silently take these words as your own. By participating in today's mission, I am here voluntarily in my own free will. By volunteering to participate, I release the Patriot Guard Riders, its board of directors and officers, volunteers and agents from any and all claims, damages, demands, or liabilities arising from any injury to any personal property as a result of my participation. Uh, in order to participate in today's mission, I acknowledge I currently hold a valid driver's license with a proper endorsement. I have motorcycle, I have motor vehicle liability insurance on the vehicle I'm operating. As a participant of this activity, I accept responsibility to maintain emergency contact information on my person and into my vehicle. Do you agree with these conditions to participate in today's mission? If so, say I do, or hoorah! Hoorah! Thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day. No snow, good weather. Thank you for the comradeship and the uh, faith we got to have in these guys today and show our patronage and for our fallen heroes. And again, I want to thank you for this decent weather and the main thing about the whole thing is to send your son Jesus Christ to die for us on the cross so we have many everlasting life. Amen. 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 Thank you. Today we show a united front of our of national unity across all the United States of America as we remember the fallen, honor those who serve, and teach our children the value of freedom. Now, Sergeant Christensen will lay a holiday wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Army. Now Tech Sergeant Spinuggle will lay a holiday wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Navy.
Now, Private McGann will lay a holiday wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Marine Corps. Now, Tech Sergeant Spinogo will lay a holiday wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Air Force. Now, Staff Sergeant Hyatt will lay a holiday wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Coast Guard. And now, Sergeant Christensen will lay a holiday wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Merchant Marines. And now, Private Andrew Lund will lay a holiday wreath in honor of the 93,852 United States servicemen from all branches of service whose last known status was either prisoners of war or missing in action. These individuals have never returned to their families and homes. We shall not forget you. The wreaths before you represent our commitment as the United States of America to remember the fallen. We also want these holiday wreaths to symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in the armed forces of our great nation, and to their families who endure our sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want you to understand the freedoms you enjoy today have not been free but have come from a cost that someday you may have to pay yourself. As a nation standing together, we can defeat terrorism hatred and injustice. Thanks to our veterans, we have the freedom to do just that. Good morning. My name is Lonnie Ford, and I knocked on my door at 11.30 p.m. on July 31st, 2006. Changed my life and that of my family forever. Two military chaplains and a sergeant, before myself and my wife, that my only son, Joshua Andrew Ford, age 20, was killed by an IED while on a convoy with the 189th Transportation Company in Iraq. Another soldier, Ben Marksmeyer, was severely injured and lost his right leg by the same explosion. The news of Josh's death, the questions we had that the chaplains could not answer, numbed one very quickly. Thoughts of Josh's birth, thoughts of a little blonde-haired boy having to stay in the corner for being naughty, a teenage boy who convinces his dad to allow him to use newly purchased inline skates without protective equipment resolving a broken wrist. The average student in his dad's American government class refusing to take notes but passing all the tests. The very scared boy who wrecked his dad's car and the more scared father who thought he could have lost his son. The very proud young man and very, very proud father in attendance Graduating from his advanced individual training classes at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, flashed very quickly through your mind. 